tomorrow afternoon, look how high these numbers get. Dew points will potentially be near and above 70 degrees, which is pretty impressive for our area. And when you get those reds on the map there, that's that oppressive, very muggy, sticky air. We don't like that. It all changes with the passage of that cold front on Tuesday night. We're back down into the 50s for our dew points for your Wednesday, but we've got a couple more days of that humidity in place. Tonight is one of them. We are mostly clear. We'll find some patchy fog tomorrow morning. Nice and mild, but like I said, also a little bit sticky out there. Tomorrow, just like today, mid, maybe even upper 80s for our high temperatures. You'll get a little bit of sun. We're also looking at that chance for some storms, though. I mentioned the heat and the humidity. That combo brings energy, and that is not good when you've got a cold front moving in, and it will trigger some thunderstorms. Storm Prediction Center of the National Weather Service puts us under a slight risk for severe weather, yellow shaded area, including the Champlain Valley. What that means for you is we have a low, but uh, still a low, but still a chance for some severe weather. Basically on a scale of five, we're at a two. Just know that some of these thunderstorms can include not only those downpours and thunder and lightning, but small hail is possible, maybe some damaging wind gusts too. Today, tomorrow morning, most of that is nice and clear. Tomorrow on and off with the clouds, you'll get a little bit of sun, but check out just after noon and into the early afternoon hours. You're gonna see some thunderstorms firing up and becoming pretty strong very quickly. And as you can see, a lot of rain associated with those through dinner time and then through the evening, you're gonna find some of these through the Champlain Valley and then into the rest of Vermont before exiting for the most part by the time you wake up for work on Wednesday morning. Just a few spot showers on Wednesday morning and afternoon, maybe a couple of those on Thursday, but from tomorrow night and on, it really looks a lot more dry around here. And the better news is that it's also going to be a lot cooler. Low and mid 70s with a mix of clouds and sun through the end of the work week. Weekend looks great. 70s and partly to mostly sunny skies for Saturday and Sunday so far.